Hello everyone, welcome back to my uh, next tutorial in Creo Parametric. In last tutorial, we have seen how to model this rod end. Now in this tutorial, we will learn how to model this leaf. For that, first go to the Creo Parametric software, then go for new, part, solid, untick this use default template, save ok. Now we need to model this we need to choose the unit our unit template is mm part solid absolute save ok now we have chosen this units now we will model this component to model this component first we will create this is actually cylindrical rod with the major the bigger diameter is 60 and the smaller diameter is 30 now we will create this component by using revolve tool. I am just choosing the front plane, sketch, sketch view. I am going to use this datum center line to revolve the component. Press the roller to confirm. Then just simply create on rectangle. Control is that. Now rectangle should be in the a small gap now this dimension is we can specify go for dimension this point this axis again this point press the roller here this diameter this one is 30 is a the diameter then again select this point select this axis again select this point press the roller at the center we will get the major bigger diameter which is 60 and total length we need to specify before that make this object symmetric select this symmetric constraint this point this point and this axis now it made symmetric then press the roller to confirm then double click to modify this dimension which is 166 here you can see just double click here 166 enter it now go for the fit screen so this is our object just save ok then go here you can able to see the axis as well as the sketch simply select the sketch one go for revolve automatically it will come revolve here you can see if you want the surface just click the surface you can able to get only surface we need a solid so make this into solid here we can specify the angle the total angle is 360 if you want to revolve only 240 just specify only 240 you can able to only revolve 240 now just make it 360 and just say ok now we have created this sleeve only uh, without creating this cut then we'll create this cut for that here you can see we have the mid planes here as well as here we can choose any one of the mid plane. I'm just going to choose this this one. Sketch, sketch view. Now here you can see this is the straight line and this one is the inclined line. This inclined line is based on this this cutter. First we need to draw this cutter. As we have created a cut here. Similarly we need to create a cut based on this cutter only. For that we'll take a reference of this edge. For that click this icon, this is the reference icon, select this edge, we can make a reference, this one as well as this one, then close it. Now we have created a reference of these edges to simplify our sketch, then take a line, just create one line, press the roller to confirm, again press the roller to confirm. Now make this line symmetric to this axis, just go for the uh, symmetric constraint. For to make a symmetric constraint, select this point, select this point and select this axis. Now you can able to make a symmetric and here you can see this dimension is 25. So just press the roller to confirm. Then this icon will come to this uh, select icon. Then double click this one, make this dimension as 25. Then this dimension is here you can see which is 90. So just simply make this dimension as 90. Yes, we have specified as a symmetric constraint. This 90 will be properly distributed. Then we need to make this line, incline line or slender line. 
for that first create this one just select this point horizontal line make inclined line then close this line press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm this dimension is 35 and go for dimension click this line press the roller at the mid you will get the dimension of this particular line this dimension is 32 now we have created the same this sketch then just go, go to this one here they have specified this edge distance is 37 then what we need to do just go for the point just place one point here press the roller to confirm the the distance from here to this point is 37 just make that the distance is 37 go for the dimension from this line to this point the dimension is 37 then the similarly we need to create what we are here we have followed the steps then just create a parallel line to this this line simply just create automatically it will not come parallel line just simply make one vertical line press the roller to confirm then enlarge this line little bit more here also just keep like this then make this line here you see it is coming as a vertical line just remove this vertical constraint just select this constraint and delete it simply select this constraint and delete it now the vertical constraint also we have deleted then simply go for uh, this parallel constraint this is the parallel constraint select this line select this line see this line become parallel to this line then what we need to do we need to move this line to this point then there is an option called coincident select this coincident constraint select this point and select this line automatically this line will move to this point now simply close the sketch by using a line tool just simply close it here and here also just simply close it here press the roller to confirm again press the roller to confirm then remove the unwanted segments by using a delete segments this is we know don't need it and this is also we don't need it and this inside edge also we don't need it now here you can see as that the dimension they have given this one is 37 and this dimension they are not given this dimension should be calculated based on this cutter now this is 37 now simply just go say ok go for extrude just rotate your object to see how the extrusion is happening then go for symmetric the total thickness of the extrusion is the 7.5 Now we have created the 7.5 thickness then just create a cut go for the material removal see how the cut is creating now the cut is creating nice then save ok now we have created this cut the same cut has to be done here also for that simply select this extrude one this is the extrude one has to be mirrored this side select this extrude one here you can see able to see the mirror option enabled then select this mirror option then select this mid plane now this is mirror in this direction also then say ok now we have created this layer then one more feature is there which is round the similar way we need to make a round for that for that just go here use the round tool just choose the edges just press the control and hold and select the edges one by one we need to choose eight edges for the particular one because we have a hollow cylinder wrongly i have chosen then choose the edge again it will get deselected the radius is 7.5 divided by 2 now it is set at 3.75 similarly just press the control and hold select these edges the same radius will be applied to this also while rotating your object simply take uh, 
remove the pressing the control then again press the control and hold select these edges this is the way we need to do it yes now all the edges have selected then press the roller to confirm or just select the ok now we have created round also now we can measure this one to measure this one we need a point here i hope you have point here just simply go for analysis there is option called measure distance we don't have a point here so we need to make a point here for that just go for the choose the mid plane sketch sketch view then just go for point sketch view go for reference this one you make it reference and this one also you make it reference then close it now just simply go for point this is one point and this is one, one more point now we have created two points then simply go for uh, just say ok then go for uh, analysis measure point distance this point and select this point press the control and select these two points actually we are not created a point properly yes this point is we have created wrongly so then escape it then close it just go for edit and this point will select and delete it just go for sketch view just go for here and this is the point then say ok then go for analysis measure distance this point and press the control and select this point just go for the edge view Here we have created point properly, but here we are not created properly. Instead, simply just move your plane to here. Just select this plane. Just go for the plane, and uh, this is just move it to here. With the diameter of thirty. Say OK. We then go for sketch, sketch view. Now we can make a point properly. Just go for the point here. Just go for the reference, this edge, then close it. Take a point here. Press the roller to confirm. Save OK. Then go for the analysis, measure, distance, this point. Press the control and select this point. So the distance is 37. So previously we have made a mistake to create a point. That's why we have got the wrong answer. Now we have created a point properly. So this way we can check the dimensions. Now we have done of creating this one. And one more feature is there which is a round of this one. These four rounds. Here, here they have given all the rounds are in 3 mm. So then go for here. Hide all the planes. Now just go for the model. Here there is an option called round. Just choose this edge as well as this edge. These two round radius is 3mm. And check, check here. Yes, 3mm. Press the roller to confirm. Then go for control D. This way it will come in place. Now we have created, now just go for round and edit, this also make it 3, just ok. Now we have created this, just go for ctrl D, now we have created this model, then we can save this file, then go for file, save as, save a copy, so here second component which is sleeve, just save ok. 
now we have created the second component i hope you like this video and if you like this video please share to your friends for more videos please subscribe my channel thank you for watching my videos thank you